In chapter 1, market, we read what is there to buy. In chapter 2, we found out how much we can buy. Budget constraint. In chapter 3, we introduced the idea of preferences. Which goods or consumption bundles we prefer. In this chapter, we will learn about a way to describe those preferences. Utility. A utility function is a way to assign numbers to all consumption bundles such that if we prefer one consumption bundle to the other, we have to assign a higher number to the preferred consumption bundle. Or in more mathematical terms, if x1, x2 is a bundle and we prefer it to y1, y2 bundle, it means that we can assign a higher number to this bundle. So, we can see that utility function corresponding to this first bundle x1, x2 has to be greater than the utility for the second bundle y1, y2. Of course, x1, x2 are the goods in the consumption bundles and similarly y1, y2 are the goods in the consumption bundle. Now, once you've understood this, we need to understand that we are not really bothered as to what is the magnitude of this as long as this number over here is greater than this number. Because in a sense, we are not trying to tell you the significance of the numbers associated with utility function unless we are trying to compare to consumption bundles. So the numbers over here just have one purpose so that it can aid us in comparison of all consumption bundles. Now this kind of a utility function is known as ordinal utility and yes there is something known as cardinal utility as well where the value of the utility function is also important but we really do not want to get into that territory so all our analysis will be based on ordinal utility function over there just the order is important and not the underlying number.